Welcome back to the Black and Gold Report. We're now joined by head softball coach Lucinda Melanson. So coach, uh, can you recap the season for us last year, just looking back and giving us a few highlights? Uh, last year was a kind of an up and down year for us. We had um, a lot of high notes and some, some not so good things that hopefully the girls will learn from. Uh, we did beat a few teams that had been ranked at one point or presently ranked. We also made it to the Peach Belt Tournament, which was a positive for us seeing that there were a handful of teams that did it. Um, I think some of our freshmen stepped up big. Uh, Natalie coming on board as a, a pitcher for us had some phenomenal games um, and really was kind of unexpected coming in as a freshman. So we were proud to see that from her and expect good things. Uh, Holly Berry uh, is constantly a, a quality leader for us and she played multiple positions and did well as well as Jamie Burwell I thought had, had a good year defensively for us, uh, filling some gaps of uh, Jelena having left us a couple of years ago. So, uh, During the offseason, you made some changes to your coaching staff by hiring assistant coach Megan Brown. What qualities and knowledge does she bring to the team and to your staff? Well, Megan, uh, she's still currently playing ball. She's playing professionally throughout the summers, as well as um, having coached at some quality or helped out at some quality Division One programs and been uh, an All-American academically and athletically uh, for Florida Southern, uh, which is still in the tough conference. And so she's brought just tons of experience. Um, we are very much on the same page as far as what we want to accomplish, the goals that we have for the girls. And so that's really helped me as the head coach have a, a little bit more freedom to do some things with her. And the girls have just really taken to her. She's been great and the feedback she gives and the extra experience they're able to get from her both both off and on the field has been great. Uh, leadership, as you had mentioned, is key um, to having a strong team. And in terms of leaders, who do you have coming back that you expect to step up as a leader? And why do you think they would do such a good job? Well, we have a few young ladies. I think first you think of Holly Berry. She's done well for us athletically. I think she's learned a lot last year um, coming off of such a successful freshman year. And last year was a little bit more challenging for her, and so I think she's really even matured a little bit more mentally for us. So I'm looking to see some great things from her. Uh, Natalie on the mound, I think, is going to give us, uh, she's a competitor, and anything you say she can't do, she'll find a way to do. And I think the girls love seeing that from her. Uh, we also have Kristen Hobbs coming back as a, as a fifth year player from a, for us, uh, coming off of basketball, and she just has so much experience in helping basketball on the coaching side of things gives her a different perspective and I think that'll help us too. Uh, softball success comes from a big part through its pitching. Uh, who on the team do you have that will contribute to the success in the circle? We have three main pitchers. Uh, we'll still have uh, Jamie Burwell. She'll be a senior for us this year. We think she'll uh, step up. Uh, Star uh, is going to be another main thrower for us as well as Natalie. And between the three of them, uh, both myself and Megan feel very confident they're gonna they're gonna do well. The defenses are playing well behind them right now in practice, and so we're we're optimistic. Uh, you're going to have some inexperience behind the plate with the loss of Lauren Bartz. I know you already mentioned Holly Berry being able to play multiple positions, but what do fans expect to see behind the mask this year? Um, it'll be a combination of Holly again, as well as Bree Hartley, who's a freshman for us. Uh, both of them have very strong arms and um, have the physical capabilities of being very quality catchers. It's just a matter of experience right now. And depending who is pitching and kind of the games that we're coming up against, who we feel is the best fit. Um, going in more into the talk of your team, you lost a big, big um, defensive glove and leader, Lynn Grantham, at first base. But you also have Jamie Burwell and Taylor Cloninger coming back at third base. How do you expect the corner positions to shape up? We have had a little bit of movement and change around the corners. Jamie still will probably hold down third base for us when she's not on the mound. Um, we also have a freshman, Megan, um, who has come in very strong, and she has the capabilities of playing first or third, and so we're just finding right now what her best fit is. As well as Kristen Hobbs, we've transitioned her from the outfield to the infield and she gives us a great big target at first base uh, for our defense and has really uh, learned the position quickly. Um, as we look at 
more on paper um, will come back as, as we continue talking. So we're going to take our next break, and when we return, we're going to continue our conversation with Coach Melanson, so stay tuned.